we are going to be talking about Pinterest from scratch. If you do not have a Pinterest account, you want to get a Pinterest account, watch this video. If you have a Pinterest account, but you haven't touched it for a while, watch this video. If you've got a Pinterest account and you've got thousands and thousands of impressions and go watch another video. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Laurieann and if you are new to this channel, welcome here at It's All Primary. We talk teacher side hustles and whew, the week is almost over. Wow. We start school uh, the day after Labor Day and this week had two full days of meetings and professional development. And then I worked in my classroom I'm looking forward to this weekend <laughs> coming up because it's a four day weekend. Whew, good. Anyways, um, let's talk Pinterest. I had a couple people ask me, how do you start a Pinterest account? Super easy. So I'm gonna show you, or I'm gonna give you five tips on starting your Pinterest account from scratch. So before we get into the five tips, let's talk about the why. Why do you want a Pinterest business account or a Pinterest account for your business. A, think of the alternatives. You can either not do anything and expect your products to be seen. Uh, TPT is about to hit 6 million in products. I, I don't think by leave, just posting it and thinking people are going to see it and buy it. Might. Probably not though. I mean, I'm just, let's just be realistic about that. So what are the alternatives? You could do nothing for marketing. And if you are starting out your TPT business, I would not, I would recommend you not worth think about marketing right now. You will, but get yourself 20, 30 products on your TPT account. And then let's, we'll talk marketing. Okay. You could have a Facebook account instead of Pinterest. You could have an Instagram account instead of, of Pinterest. I tried an Instagram. I, I started my business Instagram a couple years back and it took me a long time to get to 100. It took me a while. I'm not gonna kid you. I had a teacher Instagram account long before I was even on TPT. So, Anyways, it took me a while to get to 100. It was not fast at all. Yes, you can do Instagram, you could do Facebook, you could do YouTube, you could do nothing. But honestly, based on what I've seen in my, my, just my experiences, Pinterest is the way to go. You can, you can grow up a Pinterest account pretty fast. Now, when I say fast, I'm saying months. See, with Instagram, I don't believe you can have a huge following in months. I think it takes years. It's my, my Instagram account is a couple of years old. And it's, and as I've said before, it's, it's not an, all of it is not organic growth. Okay. I joined those groups. They say don't, to not join. I joined them. But, you know, you gain those followers and you lose them. And so, you know, things whatever. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not talking about Instagram today. I'm talking about Pinterest, but I started a business Pinterest account in May of 2020. So that account is only over just over a year old. It has done this, but I'm getting regular traffic to TPT and that I was not, I'm not getting from Facebook or Instagram. I'm not getting it from those ones, even though I'm, you know, advertising on them. I do have to fix my UTM codes a little bit, both on Facebook and on Instagram, just to make sure my theories are accurate. <laughs> Data is important. So why I think it's, I think Pinterest is going to honestly give you the most bang for your buck. You don't have to buy any. I mean, Pinterest is free and all, but if you invested an hour in Pinterest versus an hour in Instagram, I think your hour in Pinterest will get you more results. Again, my theory. I've talked about this in other videos. So watch some of the other videos. I'll put one right here. And so here, let's go into the five tips. Number one, open up an account. And when you open it up, 
you want to open up a business and it will say right at the bottom I'll, I'll put a picture or a screenshot right here you can open it up with your your gmail or your email put it in your business name okay so i personally have a Lorianne personal pinterest account and then i have my it's all primary and i keep it business focused it's on it's business stuff okay so open up that business account why a business account first of all it's free second of all you will be able to look at your analytics okay you can watch your growth it's great if you can watch what's happening to your account that's number one number two once you've got your business account you are going to make boards now depending on your niche or if you don't have a niche for TPT or boom what you make mainly so say you make intermediate math resources okay so what you're going to do is you're going to make some boards to put your pins into. So with Pinterest, it's literally like a virtual bulletin board. And so you're going to make a board and the, and the title of that board will be my TPT products or my TPT resources. And then everything you make and pin or sorry, everything that you make in for TPT, you're going to create a pin and it's going to go into that board, onto that bulletin board for people to see. Okay. So what I did was, is I created, um, uh, my brand. So I, it says it's all primary. That's, that's one board. It's the name of my store. I have an it's all primary blog because I blog. I have an it's all primary YouTube. I have a, my TPT products boom product my boom products so i'm already these are generic type ones right because i'm gonna i'll teach you and i'll share with you in a moment some of my strategies when i do pins but create some generic boards for your business okay so these are ones that just your products are going to go onto these bulletin boards okay so like I said, TPT, you could just say my TPT store or my TPT products, my boom products, and, and then your niches or the subjects that you tend to make product for. So for example, for me, I do a lot of primary math. I have a primary math board. I have a K to three collab board. So there's a bunch of us on this K to three math board. I'm, I put things there. I have a grade one, grade two, grade three, <laughs> right? So I'm, I've made many boards. The recommendation is 30, but that's a lot of boards to get you started. So let's just start with making about five to 10. Okay. So again, you can make five generic ones. Like, like I said, my TPT store, it's all primary. So your business name, uh, if you have a website or a blog or even a YouTube, right? So you can put that there and then you can talk about but if you'd sell boom you could do my boom cards again these are just for your products that you're going to put these things and then so you got about five there three to five right and then you want to put them according to what you're making so if i make science grade six science task cards Make a board that says grade six science task cards, but then those ones will have your pins and any other pins that you see on Pinterest that are about grade six ta task cards. Okay. So you're keeping some that are going to be strictly yours. And then you're going to have some boards that are ones that you are, go you are going to add maybe fellow TPT store sellers, right? Their pin, their pins that they have on there. Okay. I hope I'm not confusing you, but just make the boards, just make the titles. It's good to have descriptions. And if you, at the beginning, you, I just said my, this board is to, this board is for my TPT products. I, you know, one sentence. You don't have to make out a full paragraph or anything like that. If that's something you want to work on down the road, that's fine. Make a note, uh, remind yourself three months from now to maybe add more comments but 
you don't necessarily have to have all, everything filled out. Just fill out the mandatory stuff and then you can deal with it later. Just get the boards, okay? So let's say you've got seven boards. You've got four for your business and you've got three for your niches, okay? Now what you, I'm going to get you to do, if you don't if you don't have any of your own pins, that's fine. But I want you to go on in Pinterest, search some things out. So for example, we were talking about grade six task cards, science. Go on there and search for grade six science task cards and pin them to your board, your grade six science task cards. So what we're trying to do is populate a couple of your boards right away. Okay, because once you've got pins in your boards, they will start circulating through Pinterest. And then when pin, people repin from you, that's good. Okay, that means eyes are getting on your boards or, or on the pins that you're repinning. Pinterest doesn't love all the repinning. That's why we're just going to do this a little bit just to get some pins onto your boards. Okay, so what I usually do when I started, I would devote a half an hour on Saturdays to just pinning other people's stuff just to populate some boards. I got very ambitious because I already had an existing Pinterest account so I understood how Pinterest worked. I made, uh, it wasn't 30, I think it was like 21 boards. Okay, and I populated, over half of them were my niche or niches that I was interested in. And I populated with other people's pins. Right, just to get the ball rolling. Okay, so that's tip number three. Okay, add pins to some of your boards. Not your My TBT product ones, unless you've got pins of your own, right? Which I don't know, maybe you do. But that's number four. So once you've got that established, then what I would like you to do is try and look in your look at your weekly schedule and I want you to pin. Now, there are different types of pins. You can go straight into your TPT store and you can actually pin straight from your TPT store. You can get the pin Pinterest, Pinterest app, right? And you can actually pin it. There'll be squares, there'll be square pins. Pinterest loves the long rectangles, the, the vertical rectangles. They will still circulate the square ones. So if you wanna get some pins on Pinterest fast for your boards, your business boards, go ahead, just go, you know, install the Pinterest app and then go into your store and pin a couple things. So just, you've got some things in your own business brand boards, okay? The fifth tip is there are three types of pins, okay? There are the static pins, which I just sh shared with, I just told you how to create some little square ones using their app, right? Go straight into TPT, click them, you got them in there. Static pins, squares or vertical rectangles. Then you've got video pins and you've got then idea pins. And I've made videos, okay? So check them out on how to make video pins, how to make idea pins, and try to, on a weekly basis, upload pins and if you can, spread them out. Don't just pin, make five pins for Monday and then have nothing happening for the rest of the week. Try and even upload, on average, one to two pins a day. If you're using Canva, if you have Canva, Canva is a great place to make pins. I show you in my videos how I use Canva. You can schedule pins from Canva. So you can set up your Pinterest account to go with Canva and then you can schedule them that way. So you can have one happening every day, right? Because much like Instagram, much like YouTube, consistency is important. And even if you just post one pin a day, but again, vary them. Maybe one day you have a static pin, one day you have an idea pin, one day you have a video pin, okay? Right now, out of, a, let's just say 30 pins, I would say 25 of them are either video or idea, and then five, you know, five, six. My blog ones tend to be static pins, right? They don't, there's nothing moving on that cover. That's about it. There are, there's a lot more. One of the things that I would also recommend you do, because you're, you might be hesitant about doing this, is track your analytics. 
Okay, you go into your analytics, go to overview. I'll try and post it right here and check your impressions. Now there's going to be what's called monthly views. Okay, you're going to have followers and then you're going to have impressions. Really, the most important one is looking at your impressions because right beside your impressions, it shows you about clicks and saves. That's the numbers you really want to see. Monthly views, they're nice, but that's not the number. And same with followers. And you know what? And just write it down. When you're just starting, maybe check it the first of the month. But right now, what I tend to do is I check it every single Monday morning. And I love seeing it right now because as I shared in a previous video, I had my count suspended, not my fault. <laughs> and I, my numbers took a, a dive. Well, now they are back up and they are, I'm about to hit my all time high number. Like, because I'm, I've got a consistent plan happening. I use Tailwind. If you would like one free month of Tailwind, which is a scheduler and it offers scheduling for Pinterest and Instagram. I think they may, I think they're even considering now doing Facebook, which would be very interesting. Go down to my, the description and you can have a one month free with Tailwind. I did one of these one month frees from another TPT seller and I, I kept with it. Some people love Pinterest. Some people do not love Pinterest. Okay. My thing is I don't listen to their popular opinion. I listen to the numbers. I listen to the data. And my data tells me that people are clicking from my pins, in particularly my idea pins, straight into TPT. And I've, I've showed, not, there was one of those videos that I made earlier, I showed you that. Um, back in April, I had 40% I had conversion rate. Nothing I have has got a 40 conversion. 40% conversion rate. That's high. That's Pinterest. That's what I'm saying. And I, and I don't have to make these little posts about, you know, how I'm, you know, in order to get relate to people. I just make pins, right? I like that. <laughs> I can, if, you know, if I want to be vulnerable and, and share personal things, I'll do it right here on YouTube. I don't have to do it on Instagram. My opinion, you do you. <laughs> okay. That is all. Now, like I said, starting back to school next week, I really don't know what's going to happen with my schedule. I'm hoping because I live so close to school that I would my get my YouTube filming schedule will just continue as is. One of the next videos is about my fall plan and make and I'm making a new 90 day plan. I like 90 day plans. I made a video uh, back in the spring, I think about 90 days doing 90 day plans because three months, I, you can see not three months. You know, if I do, I don't do one year goals very much because I can't see one year. I can see three months. So that's the upcoming video. Okay. If you have ideas for videos that you would like to see tutorials, please pop them down below. I am making another product uh, video. Uh, I think this one's a boom one. I can't remember anyways. There's another tutorial coming up and my brain is fried. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. This is why I have to have scripts and notes and reminders and alarms go off. And I'm like, I can't remember why that alarm went off. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, healthy. Be kind to one another. And we'll catch you in the next videos. See ya.